All right, ladies, I'm going to give you the ultimate driver lesson. It's true, ladies are better golfers, and I'm going to give you four reasons why we perform better. Number one, we have superior multitasking skills. And this is true. Studies have shown that women are better at performing several tasks at one time. Number two, we have advanced learning abilities. Academics have found that when it comes to completing schoolwork or learning at the university level or even women learning multiple languages, that we master skills better and more efficiently than the male counterparts. Sorry, guys. Number three, women are more flexible. And this helps with the natural turn in the golf swing. It gives you a more fluid and natural swing. Number four, women handle stress better than men. And this is proven by scientists because they have consistently found that females across different species are able to deal with pressure more effectively than males during challenges due to stress blocking hormones. Who knew? Sorry guys. Hey, and a shout out to Top Golf for these four scientific reasons why women play better golf. Now, let's get to the driver lesson. All right, ladies, these three keys with driver are going to give you more distance, more consistency, and better control. The first key is stance. Oftentimes, I see women getting into a narrow stance on the tee. We don't want to do that. We have wider hips based on our anatomy than men, and we need to take advantage of the power that we can create in our lower body. So biomechanically, we need to get wide. We want our feet outside the shoulders. I know it feels a little uncomfortable. That's often what I hear as an instructor. It feels weird to get so wide, but once you get used to it, and once you see the results, you're gonna love getting wide in your stance. Now, secondly, you wanna make sure that you bend the hips, not the knees at a dress. So what do I mean by bending at the hips? We wanna make sure that if I turn to the side here, you can see this side angle, that you push your hips back. You wanna get your rear poking out. And I know that feels weird too, but I promise you, it feels worse than it looks, okay? So what is one way that you can determine if you're getting your hips back? Well, this is a really cool drill. What you wanna do is you can uh, grab a club. If you're working with driver right now with this lesson, just grab your driver like I have right here. And as I stand from the side, I'm going to hold the driver to where it touches the tip of my nose, the bottom of my chin, and my navel. So here we go, just like this. Now, when you bend correctly from the hips, you should stay connected in all three places with your nose, your chin, and your belly button. So that's the feeling that you wanna get with your hips bending back. Oftentimes, what do I see as an instructor? I see women bending, thinking they're bending from the hips and they're really bending from the waist, which creates a rounded back. Let me show you what that looks like using the example of this club. Okay, so here we go. It's back connected to my nose, chin, and my belly button here. Now, when you bend from the waist and not the hips, it looks like this. So now you can see that my nose is disconnected, my chin is disconnected, it's disconnected from my belly button, and you're gonna see I have a more rounded spine. So when you push your hips back, your rear goes back and also your shoulder blades. You should feel them move back a little bit, okay? Because if the shoulder blades move forward, you're getting a rounded back, and we don't want that. Okay, and lastly, this right here may be the most important key out of the three keys, is you want your arms on top of your chest during the swing. This is not just for driver. You want your arms on top of the chest for every single club. And the reason why is if you set up what I often see women do, and they set up to the club, their arms come underneath their chest, okay? And then your arms are like trying to squish your breasts together and it doesn't work out well for the golf swing because you can't rotate. So watch this. If I set up and come underneath my chest like this and I try to swing, I'm gonna stop rotating about right here because look, my chest will not allow me to rotate. 
anymore okay and, so, and for those of those ladies that are larger chested this is even more of an issue okay but every lady needs to make sure that the arms are on top of the chest so how do you do that this is a really simple trick you hold the club straight out in front of you arms straight and then you push the arms down on top of the chest so now as you can see I'm creating this nice little triangle at a dress and my arms are now on top of the chest which means I can fully rotate to the back again let me show you what it looks like if I don't do that if you tuck underneath here squishing the breast together you're going to get stuck in the swing about in this area here so again arms straighten push down now when you do this and you straighten the arms out make sure that when the arms come down you don't just do this okay because then we have we're not in that athletic position we're not getting in the proper stand so we're not getting those hips back like we talked about so when you set up with that wide stance as you bring the arms down notice the hips go back too okay so they're working in sync together now let's hit a shot all right I'm gonna go for a straight shot here I'm gonna get a nice athletic position notice my wide stance key number one notice my hips are back my rear is back and now my arms are on top of my chest here we go just like that those three keys are going to help you with your driver so ladies i want you to give this a try comment below and let me know if this golf lesson on driver helped you